Hi everyone and welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. Um, today I have a little unboxing video for you. I've got two items that I'm going to be unboxing um, by two different um, companies. Well one's not a company, it's actually a fellow reefer that's um, starting to do certain things. Um, so I'll show you what I'm talking about when I open the package. Um, and then the other one is from a company um, called any fins and it's any www.anyfins.com and um, they've actually sent me one of their tank mates bubble traps and um, they're like the uk distributor for the usa bubble trap um so i will show you the box this is the logo you've probably all seen that somewhere on instagram um tank mates and they've got their own youtube and yeah twitter instagram all of that um, and also TikTok, if you're interested in watching the TikToks. Um, so we'll just open what is inside this box. We've got like a tub, a white tub here. It's got bubble trap on there, eco-friendly fish trap. So the good thing about this, I've never used one of these before, but it's a more of a stress-free way of removing a fish from the tank. So it goes inside the tank. The moment that there's some gravity that goes inside it, so you'd pop some food in, the moment some gravity goes inside it, it then twists upwards. And then as, as it twists upwards, you can then pull the um, bubble with the water and the fish out of the tank um, stress-free. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's how they are targeting it, but from what I can see, it's a lot less stressful than using a fish net and trying to go around the tank to get the fish out. Um, that to me is a very, very stressful thing for any fish. Um, so this should be a lot better way. Removing the fish, still being within um, a bubble trap of water. Um, so should we get opening, see, see what it looks like. There are some instructions on the back as well of how to exactly um, use this. Okay, so I've now been able to get it open. Um, so on the the really cool thing is that on the top of the lid you've got a mirror so I presume you use this to transport the fish after you've caught it which is great really handy but it's also got a mirror for the fish to be able to see itself in um, which I know some fish do like so that's a really cool little added thing for um, the bubble trap so what comes inside this container is the actual trap itself the um oh i don't know what you call this stuff it's like more of a plastic based um polystyrene type thing anyway whatever you know what i mean um there is this we'll figure out what this is in a minute there is this syringy looking part to it which unravels and comes on the outside of the tank then there is the magnet. So the magnet on the inside is really strong. We've got a magnet and a suction. Um, one second. The magnet and then a um, suction hook. Okay, so this is the magnet. It's also branded, which is also really cool. So this goes on the inside of the tank. This goes. Bloody hell. <laughs> This goes on the outside of the tank. That magnet is so strong. That's really good. It also has a pop sock on the end. I don't know if that's to like use on your phone afterwards. I'm not sure, but that's really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna read out some instructions. So, purge all lines of air. So by the looks of this first what, diagram you pop pop in the um fish trap inside the water you pop in the airline on the outside your line and bait syringe off so draw water into the line and bait syringe you've then got place bait inside the trap set the trap on the tank glass where your target fish hosts at okay and then lure the fish in with the bait slowly pump bait syringe to create bait swirl so it swirls the bait that you've got in there around so it attracts the fish in then catch the target fish 
When the target fish goes into the bubble trap, pull the hand piece away by hand with the string. So you're pulling it upwards and then the bubble trap goes to the top. You can then take the bubble trap out and pop it inside your container. Um, so yeah, it seems like a really good way of catching your fish. Now, I, I don't even know how to say this, but King George, my purple tang, I never, ever, ever intended on having um, a tank for a long period of time. I wanted to upgrade. Um, unfortunately, that's not something I'm able to do currently, um, but maybe later down the line, I will be able to. Um, so at the moment, George is getting big and I always knew he would. Um, so I can't really keep him inside my cube tank for very much longer. So potentially I'll use this bubble trap to catch King George and maybe see if I can rehome King George. It's devastating to even say that because I absolutely love that fish with everything. Um, he means a lot. As tangs do, I think tangs, because they're such a big, beautiful fish, I'm not taking away from any other fish, but I think they have such character that it, it draws you in and you just ended up like another pet. But anyway, so, Potentially we'll have to look at that. Um, and the other thing that I could do is try and get, when King George is out, I could potentially get a really small copper band and see if the copper band will eat the Aptasia. Um, so that's something that I'm thinking about at the moment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, if that's a good idea, not a good idea. Um, I have ridiculous amounts of pods inside my tank and I'm constantly adding them anyway. So don't think there'll be an issue with the pods I guess it's just a case of if they're stressed out they don't want to eat them and I know that copper bands are hard to keep because I've had one in the past um but it was a, a fairly new tank when I added the last copper band so um it's well well established now um so that was my first item anyway um so yeah shout out to anyfins.co.uk if you want yourself one of these bubble traps by tank mates and um, they're the UK distributor Okay.